What's up guys, Cajun here, and before the video gets started, um, I did plan on talking about a certain thing that I got about, um, you know, my first impressions on seeing the gun and the new map. Unfortunately, I can't actually talk about that, so, uh, the beginning of this clip kind of is part of what I was going to do, uh, but unfortunately I can't do it, so anyway, um, time jump to the past haha -ha. and wow that was a great time jump um unfortunately i have to re-record everything because i i still had it on time lapse mode for minecraft great cajun thanks good job um but here we are in 1.8 i do have to be a little quiet it is 3 50 in the morning um I, i'm trying to get this done for you guys but let's get right into it. A lot of stuff has changed. Party menu has changed. I can't invite anyone. But uh, I'll put a circle where party chat, the party chat button will be. It's very, very easy to do party chat now. It's great. 100% love it. Uh, missions. There's a little thing there. And I also saw someone post on Reddit that there's an XP boost thing. Don't know how that's going to work because obviously... I don't have it, um, but I'll put the screenshot up right now. Boom, there it is. Um, and yeah, it's it's interesting. Can't wait to see what that's like. Can't wait to see how that works um, and stuff like that. And then, of course, the reason you're all here, really, that you know, there's there's apparently new stuff for clan and, and friends and stuff. Y'all don't really care about that. Um, plus, I can't really show that because I'm not cool enough to be in a clan. And I, I have way too many friends. Uh, the icon has been changed and it's just friends chat. There's no clan chat or party chat or whatever. Um, profile, still kind of the same. Uh, I like how it is in the upper left corner though. But anyway, um, also one, one last thing. We're going to get into in a bit. Disable shoot button name. I'll, I'll get into that towards the end of the video if you want to know about that. But the reason we're all here is the new sniper, the SVD. And my stupid uh, bought the axe not thinking that I had 3.2 thousand credits to buy not one but two and then guess what i could have bought all of these because that's another six thousand that's what four thousand eight hundred i could have bought every single one of these skins but no i had to do the axe i had to get the axe oh, i really like this one too it gives me a cyber hunter feel to be honest and then this one's pretty cool uh and the tiger shark is, is pretty cool as well. Um, Crax is, I don't know, I'm kind of iffy about it. But, um, oh, okay, they have classic for it. It's sick. Um, of course, I got Olive. They don't have Lotus Gang. See if you want your hat. Lotus Gang about to come as a living and, and put Lotus in the game. Um, yeah, but anyway. So let's just hop into it. There's really nothing else to show uh, other than this um, event. I will have something maybe Saturday afternoon or Sunday, depending on when it happens. Um, apparently, it's not confirmed, but me and some of the other influencers are probably going to test it out, the new event. So... It'll be interesting, um, but you cannot play the event how it is in the beta right now. You, you just can't. Um, so yeah, let's go into uh, let's go into diffuse first and see how much it costs in diffuse and just look at the gun really. Also, uh, another addition they added was the coalition and breach emblems, um, which shows their maybe doing the story a little bit more uh which of course i'm 
always excited to see, but we'll just join the breach for now. We have uh, $16,000 and the moment of truth, it's $4,200. Um, now, I'm kind of torn at this. First of all, let's just uh, look at it. The build quality is amazing. This is probably one of the best models in the game, hands down. In my opinion, this is one of the best modeled guns in the game. Just, I, that, I mean, that's all I can really say. On Ultra, at least, it just looks amazing. Um, now, to oh, get a feel for it, you're you're gonna be surprised if you hadn't used this yet. Here we go. So, of course, it's scoped. Um, and I'm just gonna... Boom. And if I hold it... And so there you go. It's, it's basically a scoped semi-automatic AR. Um, and let's just count how long the, the recoil reset is. So, one, two, three. 2.8 like three seconds it finally resets back on the way you shot so it, it's it's balanced pretty well it's a very strong gun usually does one shot to the head um, and if a player gets dinked once by pretty much any weapon they are dead they are dead uh, if you hit them again with uh, the SVD yeah I mean I mean that's basically it Let's uh, let's hop into the game and see how it goes. Alrighty, so here we are, and already you can see it is just a heck of a gun. I'm gonna turn this down so you guys can hear me um, because I don't want to be screaming at the top of my lungs. And this is a loud ass gun. Um, but yeah, basically. Basically, it's a, it's a good gun. You move very slowly. Like, very slowly. Um, oh my god. Okay, so, like, see? It's weird. Sometimes it's a one-shot. And then sometimes it takes a couple shots. So, I don't know. Like, there. I just got dinked. Where did he probably hit? I would think he'd hit me in my chest. But that first shot was was not a headshot so the gun's a little finicky i think um but it'll definitely get better mj you need to calm down <laughs> uh, i've been in a couple games with him he's already pretty much used to it okay mj calm down jesus christ uh and my teammate timed out sick um i'm just gonna kind of hard scope here wow you're actually on the plant are you try harding mj shit um okay now you're not even giving me a chance you're, you're literally not giving me a chance okay sick 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 i could not care less finally okay now we're good to go anyway I bought myself. Um, it, it's very hard to hard scope as well. Okay, I got him. I was about to say, whew. Um, it's very hard to hard scope. Like, usually with the, uh, usually with, you know, the U ratio, the TRG, it's pretty easy to hit a hard scope. Um, with this, it is not easy at all. Um, but yeah, stay after this and like I said, we'll, uh, we'll go over the new shoot button thing. Um, I have it off. I really want to get used to it just so that the shoot button doesn't affect my aim. And maybe come back to it later on and see, you know, how it did uh, affect my aim maybe. But yeah, for now we're just going to get destroyed by MJ because he's, uh, he's tryharding in beta. I'm joking. I'm messing with him. 
Alright, so you're not going to see it, but the new XP screen, some stuff pops up at the top, and we've adjusted the scoreboard a bit, so that is pretty cool. Now, um, I'm going to go into my dev settings on my phone real quick, and uh, where is it? Show tabs. So, uh, it should be showing where I'm tapping. Uh, which it is, you can see the, the, the dots, hello. Um, now, um, let's start a practice mode. Um, I'll just do medium, because why not? Uh, I, I really don't care. Um, and heat, whatever. Let's go. Um, so, what you're going to see is I use this finger right here to up uh, to shoot, which I'll put on the uh, control opacity to 30 or let's put it on. Let's put it on like to 50. Uh, so you can see when I shoot, uh, I don't even have the old setting or the new setting off. Uh, so disable, uh, disable shooting button. So let's see what happens. Um, I have it off, and my aim is pretty good. Now, I'm probably going to watch this in post, and I'll probably put some text and tell you, like, because I can't, I'll probably see it better in editing if I am using my ring finger to to aim rather than just mostly my thumb um so let's play a little bit let's get to let's get to 15 kills and let's see what we got oh my god pavla you're doing too good you're doing too, too good you cannot do that I suck. Anyway, let's let's now turn on that setting, disable shooting button, and so now let's show the difference first um, before I oh come on before I do anything. Uh, so you can see I'm pressing the shoot button and I'm able to move my aim. So I can just aim with my shoot button. With this off, I now, you can see I'm moving, and it's not moving in. So, we'll uh, see how I do here, which I'll probably do horribly, because I'm just doing my, uh, my muscle memory stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Like, when I first turned it off, I felt kind of a difference. Um, touch is starting to lag my phone, but, uh... I, I felt it at first. I really don't feel it now as much. Um... Because it's, it's just fast-paced now, I guess. I don't know. Um... Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm pop. I'm tryharding in, in practice mode, but yeah. So that's that's that setting. It it depends on how you aim. If you're using thumb uh, to to aim, don't definitely don't turn it off. Um, because you obviously want to use your thumb to aim. If you don't use your thumb to aim, or, uh, well, if you don't use your shoot button to aim, then I would probably suggest turning it off so that you don't get in that habit of using that finger as an aim, as a way to aim, because I think that's what's happening with me, and, um, 
I mean, I'll get used to it, uh, like I have with, you know, when I switch to claw and stuff like that, but it's going to take some time to get used to. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basic. I think that's everything um, for... For the update, let me just double check uh, and, and make sure that that is everything. So yeah, no patch notes. Um, like I said, event mode, maybe Saturday. Um, and yeah, that'll be, that'll be it uh, for now. Part two of this update video will come uh, over the weekend. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Hopefully I'll have some gameplay clips of the uh, SVD and maybe put that together in like a little edit sort of thing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.